Water is the elixir of life. Without it, there would be no life on planet Earth. And not surprisingly, access to clean water is now considered as a basic human right and ensuring the availability and distribution of fresh water is seen as a primary goal of state and central governments. Population growth, urbanization and socio-economic development are expected to increase urban industrial and domestic water demand by 50 to 80 percent by 2050. While urban areas are vulnerable to water shortage due to climate change and rapid population growth, effects of urban development patterns are also posing a serious challenge for authorities and municipal corporations in ensuring the fitness of supply and distribution of piped water in urban areas and importantly ensuring that the least amount of water is wasted in the distribution network. It's estimated that 90% of urban India does have access to water either through pipes or through water tankers. But like other parts of the world, India's urban water distribution also faces major challenges due to damage, leakage and breakage in water supply networks, due to which the water gets contaminated and also wasted. Nearly 40% of India's population is living in cities at present and this share is expected to become more than 60% by 2050. However, 31% of households either lack access to piped water or get contaminated water. In many cities, the existing water supply and distribution infrastructure is old and requires transformation. Responding to the situation, the Union Ministry of Jal Shakti launched the Jal Ajivan Mission, aiming to expand the piped water network to all households in India by 2024. Under the mission, the entire urban water supply infrastructure, surface water diversions, pumps, transmission pipes and canals, treatment and storage facilities and distribution network will be rehabilitated, upgraded and will also be created if necessary on priority basis. Our India Science team travelled to Mumbai, the city that never sleeps and one of the world's largest urban areas and visited one such construction site where the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai or BMC as it is called along with engineers of Patel Engineering Limited are constructing a network of underground tunnels to augment the existing water distribution networks. Under this project, two underground water tunnels are being constructed to boost water supply in parts of central suburbs and to parts of Mumbai. The first tunnel between Chembur and Trombe will be 5.5 kilometers long and 2.5 meters wide and the other one between Chembur Vadala Parel will be 9.7 kilometers long and 2.5 meters wide. The tunnel is being constructed beneath 100 to 110 meters from the ground and its diameter is 3.2 meters. So in this episode, we will talk about the science behind urban water supply and distribution infrastructure which is needed to provide water to crores of people each day. And also exclusively, we will take you into one of the deepest tunnels ever being built in Mumbai for water supply. We will also talk about the challenges and the technology being used by the engineers and the teams to build this unique civil engineering marvel right under the densely populated city of Mumbai. This and much more in this episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, only on India Science.